Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. Thanks for checking out my channel. Make sure to check out Mr. Popsit Live where I interact with everyone and answer all the questions in Mr. Popsit Fishing. Okay guys, Mr. Popsit here. We can see we've got some pretty good sized blackheads here. This is a patient from last year and it's very common. They'll kind of run out of medications or um, they get busy with school or other things and um, it's hard for them to get in. And then we get her back in. We're gonna, we got these blackheads that have refilled. So we're definitely gonna get these cleared out. Quite a few, it's common in the teenage years. Clean those out, get her back on the medications and we'll get her stabilized again. There's been a couple patients that have just come in actually from last year, just in the last couple months. So we can see there, not too bad on the forehead, but she's definitely got a couple good ones on the nose there um, and on the cheeks. So, on the jawline. So we'll get started here. We just got everything prepped and ready and we'll get going. All right guys, Mr. Popsit here. We are ready to go. Um, we're going in. We've opened up a couple of the pores here for her. I'm gonna start with a big one here. A little bit of pressure, sorry. Very good. A little hair usually on those. Good. That one's a little bit. I'll have to make a little bit bigger opening on that pore. This one's kind of multi-layered there. It's coming out, there we go. That was a big one, sorry, breathe it through. You did great. We got a lot out of that one. That was a big dry pour there. So we'll get a Band-Aid for her in a minute. We'll get some of these drier ones out here. There. Couple up here too. There we go. Very good. Almost got that one. Let me get that out of the way. Got it. There we go. Those inflammatory ones like to bleed. Get a band aid in a second. Work that blackhead out. Down in the cheek, it's tough because it's so far down in there. Sometimes I'll do a little finger squeeze on those too. Sorry, little inflammation there. Definitely more than more inflamed than last time we saw you. Come down here to that. Just a little pressure. A little core came oh. right out. Sorry, that one was inflamed. Got a big hard core out of there. So that's gonna feel much better. There's likely a little ingrown hair rolled up in there too, but that's good. Didn't have to go too hard on that one. So right there on the plug. Mm, okay. Yeah. Just down in her where she had her piercing. Those are being embedded. You just gotta push from the back a little. And just roll those out usually. It's like as long as the plug there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's coming. You can grab those and pull them out too. We'll see. Do you want to force it? Uh, no, I think I might be able to get it out with this. It's like the bottom of it right there. Just want to get behind that there. Little pressure, sorry. way down in the piercing almost got it there we go good a little pressure you did great that was like full thickness all the way through and we got the bottom of it there just a piercing plug you can see just dead that one's it's been in there a while older skin like that so that's good she does have a little one out there those are so good then we get under it here we don't have to press down so much and we'll wiggle that out Right here. There we go. She's doing it very good. Stretch the skin, we get under there. Got it. Nice even pressure we try to do so it doesn't hurt quite so much. 
follow up sometimes with the finger squeeze. There's a little bit left in there, I could see. Got it. There we go. I'm just trying to get these dry plugs out. Good. It's looking a lot better. I'm gonna recheck that one at the bottom. Yep. Just clear, we got it all out. Come up here to these little guys here. Just little blackheads. Still tender. Okay, a little hair in there rolled up, you can see. God, we gotta open this pour up just a little bit there. Start with this one here. Good, good, good. Very dry. Those here. Here it comes. Good. There's a little, just a little, almost like cystic acne there. A little core right in the middle. And we got it. This little inflammatory bump left over there. Okay. And this one we're gonna finger squeeze right there. Got this that little plug, it kind of goes both ways. That's the other side. Very good. Probably end up getting a band-aid there. That's a little inflammatory one. I'll squeeze, sir. Perfect. Lots in that one. That was hard at the top, soft at the bottom. You can see the difference there. Nice little plug there. Even pressure for you there. Two good sized plugs. This one's gonna be a little inflammatory one, a little pressure, there you go. Try to pulse the pressure just a little like that. Good. We got that core out, you can see there, and the inflammation almost goes down right away, which is good. Got another one right here. These are deep on the cheek, kind of, but that one's a little bit more dry than the other one. Good. So lots of little blackheads. We're just gonna kind of come across here. See if we can roll these out, just like that. Might hand squeeze a couple of these. These double double barrels right there, two pours. Good. Yeah, coming right down through here. Deep breaths. Good. You're doing great. Very focused pressure with these soft pads. Good. Roll those out. You can see it went a little bit right at the surface there. Got it. Right there. Very good. Another one here. Just little plugs. Small ones here, focused. Little hand squeeze around the eye there. We can really concentrate the pressure right where we want it. You can see on these, dry the glove off. There it comes. Same thing, focused pressure, the soft pad of my finger, you can see those start to come out. So a pretty good one here, a little inflammatory, here it goes, core's coming out, perfect, nice little core there. 
these other little black heads here. Pop those out. Just kind of roll them. That one's not that big, actually. Just a little plug. Got it. This little inflammatory one right here. Just one little push is all it took. You got it. Big core right there, you can see. <clears throat> Here's one. Good, that's a big plug down in that pore. It's kind of a double pore, double plug. Big one. There's another one right there like that. In here, a couple double pours. Two for one special, three in a row. Good, that was an inflammatory one under there. Actually, didn't even see that there was some pus in there. Here, sorry, there you go. It's a pasty one. Band-Aids here in a sec. Very dry. That's the laser. Everybody thinks it's a drum roll. <laughs> if you listen correct, it kind of sounds like a drum roll, actually. It's kind of funny. I didn't hear it like that until somebody said it. I'm like, yeah, it does kind of sound like a drum roll. Okay, let's wipe those. Yeah, right at the tip of the nose here. Nice little plug. Very good. Got it. That looks great. A couple of these right here by the eye. We're going to go real slow. Got them. There we go. That one's going to pop out. There's a big one on the lip right here. Lips always a little tender, but this one's right near the surface. Coming right out. Okay. Squeeze those out. That one's a dry one there, sorry. Those are a little tender. There you go, more focused. The one there. Good. Those usually roll right out. Here we go. A little pressure, sorry. Almost. There we go. And that little black head in there is going to be hard to get out. Uh, got it. You did great. I know that was a lot of pressure, but we got it out. You can see dark on the top, oxidized, a little bit juicy down below. A little subderm will scrape out of there. You did good. I had to push a little hard to get that, but right when you almost couldn't take any more, we got it. And with the meds. Mangioma there, it looks like. Let her heal a little bit and then come back and just do a little cleanup for her. Two let's, weeks. Let's see, yeah, two weeks. See how those come out with the needle even. They're so dry at the surface. A pretty big one right here. It's a sensitive area too, so we don't go too hard. There we go. Big plug. Got it. Good. 
And bird to the nose, coming up. Got it. Got it. Ooh, good. That was sensitive, I know. You can get a little finger pad pressure on each side. Those will roll right out. Just like that. And I always do come back. A lot of people will say, you didn't get the bottom. You come back here and squeeze really good. And you can see there's nothing more in the bottom there. Those are looking good. Forehead's drying up nice with the retinoid, too. Oh, sorry. Got it. I think we got that one. Oh, there's a hair in that one right there. Very good. Gosh, that's probably about 75. When I say that, people literally count online and say, nope, it was 68. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's funny. Well, they don't see the double one. Uh, uh, they don't see the doubles, that's right. <laughs> Turn back this way just a little. That nose, she's got a little inflammatory bump there. We're not going to get too much rougher with that. We got the plug out, but that one should go down. Now the plug's out for her. Just pulling the skin to make sure we got these dry ones here. Got it. Very dry. Very big right there. She does have a pretty good one right there, though. Got it. So this guy here. Good dry plug with the hair in it. That's a dry one right there. Here it comes. Got it. Got it. You did it. Good. And you move your head just, yeah, just like that. They roomed them, right, already? One of them. They, okay. She's had that little grouping right there. Little dry one right there. Got it. That's a bigger one. Almost, sorry. <coughs> Good. Got it. I don't want that to come off. We did great. That pretty much got the medium size. She's got some small ones through here, but we put her through enough today. One more good size one right there. I like to get those big dry plugs. They can turn into inflammatory ones. That for you. Good. Okay. She did great. <coughs> Quite a few. Somebody will tell us how many, I'm sure, online. But that was another round. That was our first one in over a year for her. And I have a couple patients that, you know, we get them stable and then, you know, school comes up or they, they're traveling or, you know, they're so busy, it's hard to get back in. It slowly starts building up again when they run out of their medications. We refill them for a year, but they'll start to flare and then they go off of them and then, you know, they come back in. We do another round, clean them up and get them back on the meds again. It's a common occurrence. Sometimes people lose their insurance and get it again, or sometimes they've just been um, away or had family members that were away. But we got her back in. We got a lot out today. Those big kind of keratin, almost wax-like plugs that really, really occlude the pore, and, and you can get an inflammatory bump behind it that can cause a lot of scarring. So um, thanks again to her for sharing. This is round two. We have a couple patients we're in round two, so I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, so we know which one we're doing. But thanks for popping by, and thanks to her for sharing. That's it.